Hi, I'm Bernardine Zian with Bentley Systems. In this video, I'll show you how to build custom solutions to use on top of StatPro or with other applications like spreadsheets. Let's then start from the end and run our first macro. The objective here is to generate a custom box girder with given dimensions. The dialog box that appears has been created by the user to let him interact with his application. The script is executed and you can see the automatic generation of the geometrical entities. Here are the nodes, and then we will see the plates and then the supports and other uh, information. In fact, beyond the geometry, we could create and assign supports as well as properties, plate specifications, load cases, and many other informations are also available through OpenStat. How did we get to that point? That's what we'll see next. All macro tools can be found in the Utilities ribbon. Macros can be organized in the user tool uh, option here. So this is where we picked our macro. If the user wants to add a new entry, then you can do that using the configure option. So here we can create a new menu entry, assign a name, and then link it to a script. So we can just go to the command option and find the script and then just link it to that script okay now this option will be available in the user tools for further use okay now the main question will be how do we create those macros so we create them using our embedded macro editor this editor is uh, based on visual basic language okay and you can see here, uh, so we're going first to uh, invoke our script, the one that was used to create the box girder. And you can see here uh, a series of instructions. Some of the instructions are proper to uh, start, open start. Some others are uh, normal uh, visual basic instructions. So, but you can see in that editor you have uh, you have tools to execute your macros to debug your macros or to create the design of the macros creating user tool user dialog boxes or or other uh, other tools so we can see here uh, some openstad uh, instructions you can see get input for land so this is used to uh, read or to retrieve the input land used in that file this block here is used to create a dialog box so the one if you remember the one that we used to interact with the with the with the application uh, it's quite comprehensive uh, you can insert text boxes check option check boxes uh, option boxes uh, drop down lists and, and pictures and so on okay okay and then we continue uh, here we can see a new other methods like add node or add blade. So this is typical of OpenStad. You use those functions to uh, create uh, objects or entities, uh, structural entities. We can assign uh, plate thicknesses, assign material, assign and create supports, etc., etc. So we'll see a little bit later the list of all those functions and methods in the help system. To go to the help system, the user will need to go to the file option, choose help, and finally open start help. This will open a web page, and the user will be able to browse through the list of all functions that are organized uh, in, by types. So you can see functions and methods for the geometry, property, support, and so on. For each function, like here, for the anal analyze function, you'll have a short description on an example using the VBA uh, language. Note that other languages are also possible, not only VBA. In our example, we used uh, some functions to create nodes and plates, and these can be found under the geometry uh, group 
and you can see uh, nodes and plates. So for the nodes, we use the create node option on the system. The help system is telling us that we need to provide a node number on the coordinate of the node. Likewise, for the plates, uh, the system is asking us to provide the node numbers for all vertices of the plate. The next example will show how to integrate StartPro with a spreadsheet program. Spreadsheets, as uh, we all know, are widely used by engineers, and the combination with OpenStart can help automate processes for better efficiency. Our application will automatically transfer loads from Microsoft Excel to StartPro. The first thing to do is to reference OpenStart in your spreadsheet program. Here in Microsoft Excel, you need to go to the Visual Basic for Application Editor, choose the Tools, References, and then pick in the list the OpenStart DLL. If you do not see, then you need to browse to the installation folder of StartPro and pick the StartPro.dll, and this is valid for the Connect Edition of Start. Please note that uh, referencing the, the OpenStart library is a prerequisite for any third-party application. Otherwise, none of the stat functions and methods in your script will be recognized. From this point onwards, you can create, modify, or delete your structural entities by referring to the OpenStat library. Here we can see the same method we used in the previous example to create a node. And the next uh, function, we are uh, creating load cases and then adding the load items to each of the load cases by reading the spreadsheet. In fact, this is one of the advantage of uh, using a spreadsheet. It gives you the possibility to run complex calculations, to organize your data, and all this will help you minimize the development effort of your uh, macro. Okay, let's run the macro and see how all this is working. So we managed to create a, a start file directly from Excel. We provide the name, accept, and then the macro will start the execution. Start is on the background and we'll see all the structural entities being created live. And it'll take very short time, so. Okay, it's done. Okay, we see here the amount of information that was transferred in a few seconds. So beyond the nodes, we have also been able to create load cases and to add load items to those load cases. So you see the number of forces and moments. Good. Similarly, one may want to import input or output data from start to his spreadsheet. The procedure will be exactly the same, except that the functions or methods will be different. For more information, you may use Connect Advisor to search for relevant material from several sources, like courses in our Learn server, or discussions in Bentley communities, or YouTube videos. I hope this video helped you understand the different workflows and uh, with little effort you should be able to create simple macros that can greatly improve your productivity. Thank you. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.